Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and I'm going to be doing a little tutorial video here on how to export your movie for Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2017 Plus. And there is a special format you can use that works the best for YouTube that basically makes sure the sound and video are aligned and there's not too many artifacts, the video looks clear and also it keeps the file size small so it's easier to upload and that format is MP4 so I want to do a little video on that. I've done some of these before. I've done one on Magic's Movie Edit Pro 16 Plus. I've done one on Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2014 Plus. But now that 2017's come out, I want to do another one because this interface is just slightly different. Okay, so what we do first uh, is just make sure these markers, these beginning and end markers, are really at the beginning and end of the video and if you have blank space out here between the end marker and the video for example you'll export some blank space at the end and we don't want to do that so just make sure that they are at the beginning and the end and the way you can do that automatically is just come down here and click this double arrow and when you click that you can see it sets those markers at the beginning and end automatically so we do that first and now let's go up to the file menu right here and then go to export movie and then come down to MPEG4 right here and choose that now that brings up the export dialog right here now usually when you first load up Magix 2017 plus it may have something else up here than MP4 right now it's got the transport stream format up here right now and we want to change that. Uh, another thing is when you pull this down it's not going to show you all of the options right here. It does show enough for what we need but if you want to see more options you can check this box right here and it'll show you a lot more options. Now one option you could use if you're not worried about upload time and you've got a good fast internet connection you could use this 1080p 2997 right here this one right here full HD and that's probably what I would use if I didn't have DSL if I had cable connection or something faster I would probably use that one but if you got a little slower internet like me you can still get 1080p HD but you just do it a different way so I'll take this checkbox off and come back down here I'm just gonna pick standard like that and then I'm gonna fill in the settings so I'm gonna still use 1080p I'll do that and then I'll still use 2997 which is what I use because my camera records in 2997 that's the frame rate so I'm gonna set that in okay then I'm gonna to go to the advanced tab and these are these are good bit rates for a standard uh, 1080p HD video so that's good right there and I'll probably set this to 30 because I've seen that on some of the others that are 2997 these settings here are alright I'm gonna leave the hardware acceleration off because I found that sometimes that has a problem with the mp4 codec so I'm just gonna leave that off uh, sample rate for the audio I'm gonna leave that the same although you could drop it down to 44 kilohertz if you wanted to that CD quality but it doesn't take much more space or file size to use 48k so I'm just gonna go with that so that's all we're gonna do there you can just look at those settings pause the video if you need to look at them closely so after you get your settings all where you want them you might want to make a custom user-defined setting here so just hit this little disk icon here and then do export preset and then I'll just put in Dave's 1080p and I'll just save that so I can use it again later okay now that'll be in the list from now on where I can just pick it so if I start another video and I want the same settings I can just pick that preset now the next thing we want to do is make sure we know where our movies going 
Now I have mine going to my P drive, which is a secondary drive, and it's going in the Movies folder. But if I wanted it to go somewhere else, or maybe you want to put it, just put it on your desktop or something, hit this folder icon right here, and go in, and then just click Desktop, and it'll it'll go on your desktop like that. So now it's it's in the desktop. But like I said, I like to put mine on the P drive. I keep a separate drive just for my videos, and then I put it in the Movies folder right here, and that's where I go. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to give it an alternate name, Test, because I don't want to overwrite my previous video, so I'll give it Test. All right, so I'm going to export selected range only. You don't have to do that, but what that does is it, uh, it selects the content between the range markers, which we set earlier at the beginning and end. But if I wanted to just get a portion of the video, then I could set those range markers over that portion. But uh, as long as I make sure they're at the beginning and end and check this, I'll get the whole movie. And I've also got Calculate Video Effects in GPU. That's the, gra the graphics processor unit that's on the video card. So uh, that just gets your video card in play. In other words, your video card will take some of the load off your computer CPU and do some of the rendering for the effects and transitions in the GPU on the video card. So that just takes some of the load off the processor for your computer. So that can help speed up the uh, export time. Okay, so we got all of that done. So now we can just hit OK right here. And this box comes up and it starts exporting the video. So that's, that's what we can do there. Okay, once your video is done, of course you want to put it up on YouTube. So the way we do that is, we'll just find our movies folder, or wherever you have it, and just be ready with that. So I got that set up. Now I'm going to go bring up my browser. I'm using Chrome, by the way. And once you get your browser up, you can go to your video folder. I just happen to have a link for my video folder at the top here so I can go right to it. And then I'm going to click the upload button right here in YouTube. You can find the upload button on other pages on your YouTube channel, but that's where I usually go. Now you can click this button right here and select a file off your computer. Or nowadays you can actually just drag the file over, like grab it and, and drag it and just drop it on there. And when you do that, it'll start uploading. And you can see it going right there, uploading that movie. All right, so that's basically all there is to it. If you got any questions, you can just post them underneath the video and uh, leave me a comment there. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Like I always say, it's good for ratings. Now, I have another video that I will post a link to underneath this one that has an index in the description of all my tutorials. So I'll, I'll put that link underneath here. So if you want to know where the rest of my tutorials are, they'll be in that list in the description of that video. And that video also tells you how to optimize your PC or create a uh, configuration that works good for Magic. So you might want to take a look at that. And um, this product here is the plus version. I always recommend getting Magic's Movie Edit Pro Plus uh, because it has the extra templates and things that really enhance your videos. So you can see my videos processing now so you know what to do next. You have to fill in your description and put your tags and things down here and when you go public with it you have to pull this down and put public and then submit it. So that's basically all there is to getting a video up on YouTube after you've done it. So thanks for watching and check back later on my channel and see all the rest of the great content that I have. Talk to you later. Bye.